Cedar Creek Gardens to talk about their corn maze. Thank you for joining us. Hey, my pleasure guys. Good to be here. What inspired to make you to make the corn maze? Well, we've got a lot of space out here and uh, we're really trying to create a family fun destination garden center. And we thought, what's more than family fun than come out and get lost in a corn maze? Have you been to any other corn mazes? I've never been to a corn maze in my life until I built one. Wow. What happens to the corn at the end of the season? At the end of the season, we cut it all down. My neighbor comes over and we swath it up and we bale it and he takes it and he feeds it to his cows because it's silage corn. Can you tell us about your new addition to Cedar Creek? This year we got eight acres of corn maze, so there's actually two mazes you can go through. One's a little bit easier, and then the second side's a little bit tougher. You gotta find some different stuff while you're in there. This year we've also added um, gem mining. So you get to buy a bag of pay dirt, and you take your gold pan and dump it in there, and you go to the gem mining area, and you gotta filter out all the finds and find your gems, and then you get a card that helps you identify what you found. And we've got the petting zoo as well. Yes, I would like to. Hayride. I would like. Train, all kinds of stuff. I've seen, I don't think I've seen them. Yeah. They look cool. What is the longest that amount, um, amount of time someone was in the corn maze? Uh, last year, probably during the night mazes. We do night mazes as well, so then you go in with glow sticks and stuff and you gotta find your way around. And uh, probably last year there were some in there for I don't know how long it was, but it was quite a while. This year, I'm gonna say again. People are going to get, especially at night, you're definitely going to be in there for probably an hour. What is the weirdest thing left in the corn maze last year? Weirdest thing left in the, you know what? People have been really good. Nobody really left anything. We didn't have any garbage or anything like that. The craziest thing, I don't know if you guys are going to ask me that, but we had a number of people got engaged in the corn maze last year. Huh? Three. Three people. Three people got engaged in the corn maze. Only yeah. three people left. Well, it was our first year last year. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. So what's the shortest amount of time? Like? Oh, some people last year, some people did really good that they ran. They got through it pretty quick. But again, last year it wasn't as tall as it is this year. This yeah. year's a lot tougher. Yes. It's probably seven feet tall in Especially some Especially for top. Yeah. Probably. Especially, I'm sure. Yeah. How long does it take to make the corn maze? Well, uh, it took us probably, of course it's gotta grow, right? Yeah, but uh, we, we planted it in May and then it didn't really start growing until uh, the end of June because it needs lots of moisture, it likes lots of moisture. But uh, probably took my son two days of marking it out and then we probably took another day, day and a bit to cut it off. And then we have to keep cutting it because corn keeps growing. Even after you cut it, you could walk in a week later and it's already a foot taller again. So you got to keep cutting it. What is your favorite part about creating the corn maze? Oh, just being creative, being able to do some fun stuff, and this I year we got our... there was actually a pattern. Yeah, there's a pattern. There's a truth. There's a whole story to it. Anything else you would like to add? No, I just say thanks for you know you guys coming out and making me a movie star, huh? Am I going to be famous after this or what? Yeah, uh, a little bit of. More I have a great idea. <laughs> What's that? Let's go do the corn maze. <laughs> Let's go. So Tom's in the bathroom. We finished off with Brad, and I got the push, perfect plan. I'm gonna lose him in the corn maze. It's gonna be awesome. What? I, oh, I was just saying that there's two mazes, five mailboxes. Okay, in cool. Each one. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I don't think I should. Wow, how about Which you? way should I go? I'm gonna see what this is the easier maze. It's actually really hard. I'm on the hard 
one. Okay, guys, I'm on the hard one. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Maze is very confusing. Try walking to an open. Here we go. He's lost. Okay. Turn to the road. Uh, yeah, I think I'm lost. This feels familiar. Stop! Yeah. I hear your voice! I didn't go this way. Yes! Another white mail box! What would Bobby do? Dang it, it's a three rail. We thought it was it. But when the three goes back, we don't do the three. Two. Although I may be lost, I'm progressing. I went in a circle. And I've come to a loss. I'm stuck in here lost. Same white mailbox we saw before. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm still powering through. This damn, this place is pretty hard. I'm really lost. This place is pretty bad. It's tough. I'm utterly lost. I'm at the top of the maze. Somehow matched. They're corny, so we checked out the petting machine. They have four dogs in a bit. Come on, guys. Okay, put a little bit in your hand and just hold it, hold it down, and they're gonna come right up. Just don't move fast and don't try to touch them. The black guy won't eat any. Okay. Okay. Go right down. Go down to their level. Lower down a bit. Let them eat it right out of your hand, so it's not dropping on the ground. Oh, here, here comes Pula. Yeah, yeah. Come here, Pula. Okay, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Do I put this in yeah, there? I'll get you some out. Yeah. See, she's gonna smell this stuff. She shouldn't eat much of it, but she does. Oh. Okay. Pull up. Pull up. It's scaring me. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, Cedar Creek Gardens, for the tour of. For more information, what 
visit their website. I take it a little bit.